Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. If you're a returning subscriber, I missed you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Um, but this is the video I brought you guys today. It's kind of a contouring, highlighting, comparison for yourself video. So the point of it is for you to see how someone looks without contour and then with contour. This isn't it, so don't worry about it. Um, but I am trying to bring you guys stuff that hopefully answers some questions, answers some doubts, helps you decide with purchasing certain products or not. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be a quick little video to watch on your lunch break. You know, I hope, I hope. Um, but besides that, I want to thank you guys so very much for all your help, all your support, your love, your views, your support, which I said already, um, for everything to be honest, you guys are awesome. Um, but talk to me though, I want to learn more about you guys, let me know what you guys want to see, I need to hear stuff, I need to know, but besides that, that's it. This is the same look you guys are going to see me end with, um, I just added the contour and highlight to the other half of my face, popped on lashes and gloss, and then we're ready to go for a little IG photo shoot in your room at 12 49 at night to then post follow me on instagram guys you guys should follow me on instagram <laughs> my instagram is angie underscore s dot p year i will see you there um that's about it i'm gonna stop talking i hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys soon as always tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and that's how we gonna get it popping i will talk to you guys in the next one so starting off we're gonna start with just our base done which is our foundation i did my eyebrows because this video is not about eyebrows and if you hear a noise behind my voice it's my dog being a dog so i'm sorry that's her but um we start off with our foundation all i did was put literally my base on my eyebrows and now i'm gonna show you the difference so for you guys to see the difference i'm doing half just your base and powder which i see a lot of people do which is the point of me showing you guys the comparison and also a lot of people ask me if contouring changes anything if it actually works if it does anything if it's worth it remember you know so i'm gonna just do a half half have you guys see it for yourself see what i use see if you want to try it if you don't if it's useless that's what we're here for so this half I'm done with, we're done, we're done. We're adding nothing else but our foundation and our setting powder. So I did not highlight under my eyes, literally just foundation that I spread around is normal, is normal. And I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm opening a new one because I've been scraping at the bottom for a while. So the shade I use is light medium. I use this shade um because it's not horribly light like it's not gonna cast um a white cast or anything like that but then it's obviously not my skin tone either <laughs> i really don't know if you guys see this i don't have a viewfinder yet okay but it's this shade <laughs> um so that's what i used to highlight under my eyes under my eyebrows which that i did i'm not gonna lie to you i did that but for the eyebrow part so I put it in the middle of my forehead, down my nose. I don't know why I'm telling you because you're gonna see it. So let's do this. Um, this is how much I apply. I don't dip back into it. This is literally all I apply. Then I do my nose, the middle of my forehead, down my chin, and on top of my lip too. Is what I do. I just burped. I'm sorry. So I always blend it out. My highlight, at least with a beauty blender, just because um, it does absorb the excess and we don't want excess highlight because you don't want it to cast a white shadow and stuff like that. So I just use my beauty blender. That's what I use. So my concealer under my eyes, I do take it all the way up to right here and I do blend it out um, up to my nose or right about here. And that's just to kind of contour my nose with highlight, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm bringing the light up and 
not casting a shadow until I actually add um, my bronzer, which you guys are gonna see. So I bring it right here. And make sure you blend everything out because if not, you're gonna be able to tell, obviously, <laughs> you did what you did. I always wondered why we all do these faces, these faces, but it just comes out. Oh, that's good. So, that's highlighting my under eyes and everything else that I highlighted. And this is good. So, after I highlight, we're going to set our highlight with my Laura. Mercier powder. Um, this is the one I mostly use. I've tried the Airspun too, but for some reason it leaves me looking. Um, it leaves me looking ashy in a very interesting kind of way. And we're not going for ash. And this is literally how much I put on. Um, just because I noticed that when I didn't put this much on on these certain areas it would move like like I would get um so if I didn't put this much on under here the concealer would settle or skirt okay so I do add this much just because when I'm, when I used to add less I would notice that the concealer would settle into my under eye lines you know so when i do this it does have a softer look to it from what i've noticed so while that is baking um we're gonna go on to our contouring which is our bronzing right imagine i'm wrong okay so i use my hula by benefit it comes with this little brush in it and I find this to be very helpful. Why? Because I use this to like chisel literally right here. Like where you see my natural shadow right here is where I use it, right? And then I use this domed Morphe brush, which is just like this, you know, to like blend it out. But I just, I've done it without. Like I've done it um, just with this and then it's too harsh. And then I've done it with just a brush and then, I don't know. I, I've tried guys, okay? So I know what works for me. So that's the line that I put down with that, but with that benefit brush. And then I just kind of put it upwards. I'm like the worst explainer, but you guys will get used to me. Cause So with this, um, you see me blending it upwards and also in like circular motions to make that line that we, well not the line, but where we had like set it down to make it like less aggressive, you know? I'm gonna just wipe away my forehead and my nose for now and my chin. But I'm gonna let my eyes bake for a little bit more. Um, I tap off the excess just because I don't really want to deal with excess. I also bring this into my hairline, which I'm gonna show you guys on half my face. Around the temples. And another thing that I like about um, contouring, this doesn't really have to do much with highlighting, but with contouring is that if um, a foundation shade is lighter, like then you need it really, really, really. <laughs> um, so if a foundation is lighter than you need it to be, you can bronze it up and obviously make it match you or at least closer to matching you. But if you don't do this, <laughs> can't really use that foundation. So I go right here into my ear. That sounded weird. Um, Up 
right here into the ear and then I just drag it down my jawline into my chin. And I hope that even just right now, like by this part, you guys can even see the difference. <clears throat> Anyone else want to just take their hair off? So we are going to contour half of our nose. I just mail. So I just take um this is a real type sneaks base shadow brush. I use it just because it comes. She said we're not recording today, folks. That's what she said. So I use this real techniques brush. I use it just because it tapers into itself. And I've tried using blending brushes like this, and it just doesn't work out for me because they're too fluffy and you need it to be more snatched because we're trying to get it snatched so i bring it up here closer to my eyebrow and i bring it straight down the side of my nose is here right it's right here and i put it here like i put it literally like almost directly on the bridge and that way i'm creating a shadow as to where I want it and that way it gives me more of like a it gives me more of a that no um but honestly it gives me more of a um, so I like to make my nose look a little more narrow I'm fine on my nose but I just like making it a little more narrow obviously we all try and look snatch we all try and look so that's what I do um so then obviously I should think about it because I can't show you I have the other line right here and then it just brought the bridge of my nose outwards and up a little you know just look at my other videos you know oh and backdrop wise guys I've been using this white background <laughs> um just because I'm trying to figure out my background situation it helps with the venom one because it popped out more and then here, it's like hopefully gonna be my last video with this white backdrop. So I goes, I hope you guys like tolerate it. It will be gone soon. Um, let me know if you guys have backdrop suggestions. <laughs> Cause I've been struggling. I've been struggling. So after I do that um, on my nose, I go in with a stippling brush, which I use to blend out almost everything. And I just go over because this had translucent powder from when I set my eyelids earlier with powder. And so I just blend it out, I make it as harsh. And then I also use this to go in and under my eye and brush that bake off. And this is a highlighting tutorial and contouring. Well, not really. Well, kind of a tutorial, you know? But it's a comparison. So we're going to actually, like, highlight. Did you know? This is a Real Techniques fan brush. It's so cute. I love it. And I use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I like it because it has that gold undertone. Which is what I need. Or what I like or prefer on my skin tone, at least. This is also gonna show you guys um, how highlighter really changes your face. I believe it really changes your face, but this is gonna let you guys decide for yourself. And this is just something I always do, which is highlighting. And I also highlight under my brow, right there on the arch. And 
not what you could do and I am going to do it just for the purpose okay of showing you guys is baking a little under my highlight just so you guys can see it and see what it does this I don't really do as much unless like I don't know unless you want to go the extra mile And this will help you guys if anything got money along the way, if anything, like if you drew out of the lines. That's what it's gonna help you with. You know? You know? After that is done, you could just brush it away with whatever brush you use to place or to powder your whole face. Sorry. I don't leave it for that long because then you start getting that whole ashy kind of vibe. So this is half of my face done as I normally do with contouring, bronzing, I didn't add a blush just because of the purpose of this video, highlighting, don't mind my nails, they not cute, and under eye highlighting. And then this is the other half, which some people choose to do, <laughs> not judging you, because who am I? But this is what um, some people choose to do, which is just foundation, which is your base, no concealer, powder, and they run out the house which is cool for some people. But I can't do that, I can't do that because, just showing you, right? This is my face. And this, I just feel like, um, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything. Like, unless your skin tones, not skin tones, unless like you're, you have red, red, hyperpigmentation or you know anything like that that's all it's really gonna cover up it's not gonna do much it's not gonna really flatter you as much because you're just putting one solid color on your face but to each his own so this is half and this is other this is what you do to hide your double chin i'm kidding but not really okay so that's about it for today's video that way i hope you guys can decide for yourselves if contouring and highlighting is for you if it's not if it's worth it all that jazz because obviously then you have to invest in highlighter highlighter actually yeah highlighter if you want to highlight um highlighter concealer bronzer stuff like that i would recommend it this is gonna make you look extra popping. You wanna look popping, you know? Poppin'. Well, you have a hype man. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, this was just to let you guys decide for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Bye-bye. To tell a friend. <laughs> Bye, guys.